only about 15% of police officers are black in the United States. That's, Wait, what? That's, so <laughs> that's <dishonest>. proportional. <laughs> that's, pro that's proportional, you moron. <laughs> only 21% of Americans who are 16 or older have ever experienced interactions with police officers. That is impossible. This is this is like this is beyond stupid. There's just no way. I want a cinema sense counter. Like how many times has she lied in this video? It's actually crazy. When Raymond Holt first comes onto the scene as the gay, black, NYPD officer, he faces discrimination. But slowly and surely, he is, as the Washington Post puts it, turned into a mascot of departmental tolerance. The great aspect of this storyline is that it does show that the NYPD is certainly not perfect by showing the initial discrimination, but it also seems to exaggerate the department's capability of reform far beyond what is accurate in reality. Simply put, it's sugarcoating. So wait a bit. So we have a TV show where the police department has a gay black police officer chief. And originally, and at first everyone's biased against them, but over time they learn they to be learned accepting. They to love him. Right. To love and she's the complaining gay black about police chief. Right. She's complaining about this And this character. is propaganda and not woke right. aganda. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally the thing that they want media to do, build more tolerance from people. But if it's the police, then it's bad. <laughs> it's the police. How dare you insinuate that a a nice gay person is a cop? Yes, yes, and black. Right, that too. And this type of sugarcoating seems to be pretty traditional in the cop genre. And many shows display a picture of diversity within law enforcement that is just nowhere close to reality. That's so wrong. Shows on TV that portray law enforcement often put a heavy emphasis on diversity, which is great for representation of more people of color or in the LGBTQ media space. But it isn't so wonderful for the truth of what most police departments really look like. While they are full of diversity on TV, they aren't in real life. In fact, only about 15% of police officers are black in the United States. That's, Wait, what? That's so that's dishonest. That's proportional. <laughs> that's, pro that's proportional, you fucking moron. Yeah, it's 13% of the population. Holy shit. <laughs> you, what a fucking idiot. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I'm like, well, there's probably not a lot of black cops in places that are predominantly white, but that's exactly right. Jesus Christ. I can't take this fucking chick, dude. Yeah. That's the really overrepresentation, actually, of 15%. It is. It is. <laughs> like, while they are full of diversity on TV, they aren't in real life. In fact, only about 15% of police officers are black in the United States. <laughs> what an idiot. What an idiot. What are they, what's oh it supposed God. to be, 50%? Like it is on the cop shows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Well, I mean, it probably is depending on where, like, where the police station is. It like, probably like, is 50% yeah. in the in, in cities, the cop yeah. shows, yeah. Well, well and, and also, yeah. yeah, and and in cities, obviously. Right, right. But just, oh my God, she unironically was like, only 15% of the cops are black. They're not diverse. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Which is a horrendous underrepresentation of what our population actually looks like. What? It's a... Oh, she fucking puts the nail in the coffin. Oh my god. Oh my god. A horrendous underrepresentation of our 13% of the population that is black. <laughs> look, it's even more because I, I doubt. Look, 13% of the population is black. I mm -hmm. doubt that 15% of the police population that's black is women. I bet it's all guys <laughs> or well, predominantly I mean, guys. Are, right, but women are probably mostly underrepresented in policing overall. Of course, but if 13% if of the population is black, half of that 13%, oh, 7% saying, right. is women. Right, so it's Wait, even so these, more overrepresented. Right, that's a good point. Wait, so these people hate cops. So what she's saying is that more black men should become cops, a profession that she fucking hates. Oh yeah, that's a good point too. Listen, any time that she is any way that she can insult the police, she's gonna take it. Okay, it doesn't have to be logical to or consistent. Seven percent of the America or seven and a half Just percent of the American population are black men, but fifty percent of them stupid. are cops. Yeah, so they're they're super overrepresented. Yeah, way overrepresented. Yeah, which is great. More diversity. 
She wants 50% though. She's like, un unless it meets the criteria of the the cop shows, which I'm sure on the cop shows it is like 50%, at least. Right. This type of media is also the primary example of law enforcement for many Americans. Only 21% of Americans who are 16 or older have ever experienced interactions with police officers. Therefore, the media may be legitimately their only way to develop an un Wait, does that include like getting pulled over for a traffic stop? I don't know. I don't. What she, what was it has one? a sync 21% have we, never interacted with police. Only 21% of Americans. Can we, can we, can we do a poll? But, can we, I'm, I'm so curious. Can we do a poll and see if, if people have interacted with police like a, one or more times in their life? I don't know that I've ever met someone who has never interacted with police. Yeah. I've interacted with police like hundreds of times. Yeah. Thousands, millions of times. No one wants to have that conversation for whatever reason. For whatever this type reason. of media is also the primary example of law enforcement for many Americans. Only 21% of Americans who are 16 or older have ever experienced interactions with police officers. Yeah, that, that can't be possible. It's, it's impossible. Dude, Unless no they're way. not including uh, traffic stops. Because I could, I could believe that 21%, only 21% of Americans have interacted with police outside of being pulled over, right? Well, here's the thing. There are like 65 million police interactions per year. So mm -hmm. like the idea, the, the, the stat makes no sense. There's Except no way. 79% of Americans have never had an interaction with police. That's pretty crazy. That's hard to believe. Let's see if I can find this. Yeah, that's, that is impossible. This is, this is like, this is beyond stupid. There's just no way. Right. Hmm. Did, does she have like a... This is a I dumb question. Does, does she have a source document? She does, but it's kind of spotty in what it actually includes in it. So I'll see. She includes. What is? It? Wait, no, because it doesn't. No, this isn't. This is not in her source document. No, oh, it's not convenient. Because um, she made it up. Of course, she can't put the made no, up she, stuff. No, she in got there. it from somewhere. No, she just made it up. Well, okay, here, here's the first thing. I don't know if this is where she got it from. Here's the first thing. There's a report from 2018 that said um, in the year 2018, 21% of Americans had one interaction with police officers. Oh, my God. It year. has to be something like that. Um, in one year, I would believe that. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, over the course of a lifetime, everyone has an interaction with police. Well, I mean, I've who got, hasn't I've got been a pulled year over with... at least once for like speeding or something. But I mean, I've gone a year without a interaction with oh, police. Oh, of course. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, like, yeah. so, like, okay. You have so, like I said, year, there's, six, there's 65 no million. There's 65 million police interactions, and there's like 300 million people. So, like, over the course of a year, that makes almost perfect sense. Yeah. But, like, over a lifetime, it's just like, it it's a, no a, sense. an absurd statistical impossibility. Right. Everybody has an interaction with police. Yeah. Once in their lifetime. I, do, I'm just, I, I want a cinema sense counter. Like how many fucking times has she lied in this video? It's actually crazy. I did yeah. not expect it to be this bad. This is horrible. This is like is worse than the woke one. Yeah. Like this is like, you should be fucking like removed from YouTube. Like you should be banned for making oh, fucking now content. You're that going is this bad. full cancel culture on us. Come on. Why dude, the, dude, this is just not. fucking, she just lies on the internet, dude. Fuck this. This shouldn't exist. This is propaganda full of lies. Just, she probably doesn't even know she's lying. That makes it worse. <laughs> yeah. It that means does. it will just continue. But at least she's not a bootlicker, okay? That's all that matters. Oh, yeah. Here. Okay. As long as you know, you know, not a bootlicker. Yeah, I have no clue. I can't find anything except for the one thing I said. I don't know where this number comes from. I can't find something similar. Source, I made it the fuck up. So, yeah, yeah no clue where she got this one from. All right. Right. Most people never interact with police. Officers. Therefore, the media may be legitimately their only way to develop an understanding of police. And it's, oh, and she's not, it wasn't just her misspeaking, which she do, clearly does because she's just doing one fucking take. This the essence hilarious. of this argument, 
the essence of this argument means that she meant exactly what she totally. just said. No, that she hilarious. actually believes 79% of people never interact with police a single time in their entire fucking life. And that is only, crazy. And their only understanding of law enforcement is from television. Is from fucking watching cops on TV. <laughs> I know, that's so... What a fucking moron. How do, you, how do you put that in a script and think, oh, this is a sound argument here. What the fuck? Well, I mean, listen, she... Listen. She didn't understand that fifteen percent of black of officers being black was not an underrepresentation. Okay, <laughs> she's not very good at, at looking at these numbers and saying, "Hmm, this doesn't make sense to me." All of this is just total bullshit. <laughs> yes. Where's the fact? Oh, we are the fact checkers. Never mind. Yeah, We're go. taking care of business here. Right. And again, I encourage everyone to look a little bit deeper and do a little extra research when you just suddenly see a blatant statistic pop up like that. How about you do like some that? fucking research, Why? you fucking <laughs> like idiot? That. Why is irony? The... Wait, 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 wait. Irony, irony alert. Jeez. You miss, you miss, listen, listen. Again, I encourage everyone to look a little bit deeper and do a little extra research when you just suddenly see a blatant statistic popped up like that. <laughs> so, yeah, irony. Fucking irony. A blatant statistic. I, uh, man, it's too bad I don't make fucking hit pieces anymore because, goddamn, I would have a fucking field day with this, dude. I would do rake it. this fucking bitch over the goddamn coal. Bring it back. Fuck you, dude. You were such a piece of shit. Illuminati is unironically fucking evil and stupid. That 21% of that, Americans don't interact with police seems like a, just a dumb shit statistic. Yes. There's, there's like, there's been five in this video where it's oh, just yeah. like, you can't possibly fact check this. It's so blatantly on its face wrong. I don't even need to look it up. I just, I know that's like, that can't possibly be true. What the fuck? Don't believe the media. Believe me. A YouTuber that stands in front of a graphic of science. Yeah, I'm 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 really smart, guys. Do your own research. Like don't don't trust don't, any statistics that you just see. I don't actually know if this is even a step above like flat earth YouTube. Like this is a very low bar of like critical thinking. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. Yeah. People yeah. just eat this stuff up too. Why is it like that? Why is the news reporting it like that? And for the love of God, please don't rely on TV shows to warp your view of reality. It's ultimately just propaganda. Or a YouTube video! <laughs> I know. She's oh, basically man. saying that they're a biased source with an axe to grind, when she is the ultimately biased source with an axe to grind. Yes. yes. Yeah. But with all of that being said, that is where we're going to end today's episode of The Corporate... Thank fucking God. Hi, you just listened to a clip from the Sitch and Adams show. If you like what you heard, you can listen to our live show right here on this channel on Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. And if you want, you can super chat us. We read $20 and up super chats on the show and then do a follow-up stream on the following Tuesday where we read the rest of the unread super chats and interact with fans of the show. Subscribe to this channel right here to listen to the live show or to listen to more of our awesome clips.